Okay, so what I'm going to use in my chocolate banana pancake is one banana, three eggs total. So we're going to use two egg whites and one whole egg, a teaspoon of vanilla, real vanilla extract. You don't want the imitation vanilla because it has lots of junk in it that, frankly, you don't want in your body. A dash of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and some good old cocoa. And so I'm going to cook my pancake in just a regular non-stick pan, but I'm going to add some coconut oil to the pan so that it doesn't get stuck and it actually adds some flavor to the pancake also. So I use um, organic virgin coconut oil. It tastes really good, smells really good when you're cooking it. If you don't like coconut, then you can use olive oil or organic real butter. Just make sure it's real. Don't use margarine. It's plastic. Okay. So anyway, let's get started. So now I've got all my ingredients in my hand mixer and I love my hand mixer. It is so convenient. You don't have to pull out the whole blender or food processor. You just pull this out, rinse it off, put these two things in the dishwasher and you're done. So I added one teaspoon of cocoa and one teaspoon of real vanilla. Remember, it's very important, not imitation, real vanilla. Two shakes of ground cinnamon and one banana, two egg whites, and one whole egg. And I mixed it all up with my hand mixer and so now it's ready to pour in the pan. I'm going to coat my pan with coconut oil, it's already melted. And my heat is on medium, medium heat. So I'm just going to pour it in the pan. It makes one big pancake. It's kind of like a crepe. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is the chocolate banana pancake in the pan. And you're just going to want to stand here and watch it because it can heat up quickly. And you don't want to burn it. That would be gross of course. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it over when I think it looks a little brown on the, on the other side. Just like a regular pancake, you know, when to flip it over. A good tip I learned, anytime you are trying to flip something big like an omelet or a huge pancake like this, always go around the edge and then the uncooked portion on top will be able to come around the side of the pan and then you can flip the pancake or omelet much easier. Let's see how I do. Looks like it's ready and if this doesn't turn out perfect as far as aesthetics go, who cares? It tastes delicious. So there we go. I didn't get any outside of the pan. Do I get points for that? Okay, so here is our chocolate banana pancake flipped. I know it's not extremely pretty, but it is delicious. So we're just going to wait a couple more minutes and let it cook through, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, it looks like it's ready. All right. Now you could eat this just like this. You could put some real butter on it, or what I like to do is put peanut butter on it. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of peanut butter. And I know it sounds like a pain to measure everything out, but it really is important, guys. You can't just go blindly on measurements. Once you've been measuring for quite a while, then you'll be able to tell what a tablespoon, um, you know, a cup, half a cup, what that is roughly. You can go by, you know, thumb, palm of your hand, cup, your hand. You, your hand is usually a half a cup. So anyway, just make sure you make sure with a teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever you're trying to go for, for a while until you figure out how much that looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to spread my peanut butter all over my chocolate banana pancake. 
And your kids will love this too. My kids love these. So good. All right. Now it's ready to eat. Give it a try and let me know what you think.